Hi, it's Sarah here from Crafting and Stamping and I'm here with another quick tip. My tip today is around using the Snowfall Accents Puff Paint that comes as part of the Storybook Gnome Suite. You obviously can buy it separately if you prefer. And on the um, container, it does say shake well before using and apply in a thin line. Then heat with a heat tool to puff the paint. So the first thing is, Yes, you do need to shake it up very well, I would say, to make sure if it's been settled that you've got a good mix of the solutions that are in there. Now, I would also recommend, one of my tips is, to actually run out a little bit of it first anyway. And this is a good chance for you to just test and see how thin a line or how thin a solution you want for your puff paint. If I do a sort of thick line along like that and a thinner one like that and then heat it, we can see what the difference looks like. So I want to get my heat tool going. This is going to be a bit noisy, so apologies for that. So I can see from this test piece that the very thin strip of it is probably too thin for what I'm wanting. I'm going to use it on this little toadstool house. So again, I'm going to just give it a quick shake. And again, I'm just going to squeeze a little bit out of the end before I pop it on my house. And... I'm just going to cover these spots with the paint. And I'm not being too precise. I'm not too worried about it. I could even do it as one piece rather than the spots. So now we'll just heat this so it's going to get noisy again. And there we go. I've possibly just heated that a little bit too long. It was just starting to turn a bit brown there. So do be careful not to overheat it. So I'm now going to pop some dimensionals on the back of here. And, and it does dry or harden pretty quick once you've popped the, the heat gun on it. So I'm just going to pop these on, trying to be careful not to flatten that now that I've put the puff paint on. And there we are, we've got a little bit of extra dimension on our little toadstool house. So I hope that that gives you a few tips for how to use this Snowfall Accents Puff Paint. Like I say, um, the best tip is really to just test it out first, see how, how it works. It can go quicker on paper than it does on card. So just be a little aware of that. I was, like I say, I was just starting to overheat it just there. Uh, so watch out for that. And I hope that that helps. Please do subscribe to see a quick tip every Friday and a quick card every Monday. And thanks for stopping.